And for my final trick, ladies and gentlemen, I will in fact be no C being Ming. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 that is unique enough, of course, in alphabetical order. And this week we're back with the nation of Ava, a nation located in the Burma region. We start off pretty powerful, got a bunch of tributaries around us, all of these guys over here, but basically they limit our expansion, so we're gonna need to beat them up as well. Pretty strong nation, like I said, morale of armies, infantry cost, cap combat, national manpower, land force limit, lots of mill focused national ideas, definitely a very powerful nation, Ava right here. But what do we do as Ava? Well, I don't know. How about we try and conquer all of these guys in Southeast Asia, Burma, Indochina, Malaya, beat them all up, get into 75 coalitions and try and win them all, maybe even fight Ming, maybe even go for the achievement that requires us to own a province in Mexico as a Buddhist nation. So those are the goals for this campaign and before we begin if you enjoy this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out the channel a lot and it lets me know you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to see more a to z videos or more eu4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as ava all right all right here we are as ava this is the achievement we're going to be going for land of eastern jade own a core province in central america as a buddhist country actually it's not central america it's mexico why does this lie either way like i said our tributaries here they limit us from expansion we gotta go through them so let's get prom right here and cancel tributary with them and twangu so we can push through the south we got a decision monastic education enforce our heritage monastic education of course and i'll try and uh link up with some of these guys down here maybe lan shang sure sure Let's do some estate stuff. All right, estate stuff done. Let's take a look at our force limit. It's 12. Hmm, do we start off with calf combat? No, no, no. So let's get rid of these elephants, actually, because they're too expensive right now. And uh, I'll get some more infantry regiments. Wonderful. Are we making money? We kind of are. We can't afford an advisor. Let's get uh, let's get this discipline guy, huh? Something else, maybe? Sure, sure. Let's try and get uh, this spy network guy. Can we hire another one? It is only 0.66, so let's get this uh unrest guy wonderful all right since i'm gonna be keeping these guys as tributaries i need to wait for my truce with these guys to run out which is gonna happen in five years meanwhile i'm gonna spy on them and we're gonna do stuff like that we'll fight them man there's so many monuments around us we already start off with one of the bagon temples missionary strength missionaries missionary strength karma decay I love it. We also got the this palace and the Shwedagon Pagoda down here. Another one, the Great Palace of Bangkok. Angkor Wat, Imperial City of Hue. Wonderful. Someone declared on our tributary state? Her says, we have to accept. Who are we fighting? These guys up here. Wait, what? Why would they declare this war? It's it's just them, right? Why? I that that was such an easy win. Why why would the, why did they declare that? I still don't get the dynamics of this whole region right here, dude. All right, truce with the first two guys I broke my tributary status with. These guys down here is up. Let's declare on Tuangu, who is Mong and I. Ah, it's these guys. Can I co-belligerent them? Eh, guess not. Easy first war, man. Finally, provinces, wonderful. Now we can expand into Pegu. Ah, uh, I'm already spying on them. Excellent, let's score this up. So expensive, because it's in a state. Let's rival someone like uh, these guys, I guess. All right, we're gonna continue our conquest shortly. And that shortly is actually right now. I'm gonna declare on these guys right here. They were also my tributary, by the way. Go belligerent, prom, they're down here. Call in the boys so we can make this easier. And, oh. Oh, because I have a royal marriage with Prom, of course. Well, I'll just eat them up without co-belligerenting them. Alright, this is done. I'm actually gonna white piece Prom and I'm gonna do a little trolling because Pegu, they are allied to Lan Shang. I don't want to fight my boys if I want to fight Pegu, but my boys are in a war with me right now. So this is the perfect time to declare on Pegu. There we go. Ah, this has been extremely easy. Extremely easy. So let's peace out Pegu first. Uh, can we take everything from them? Sure, sure. Are we gonna get coalitioned? Of course not. Of course not. And now let's peace out these tiny guys right there. Can a coalition form? No. There we go. Oh, I forgot to even take a look at the mission tree. Defeat our rival? Hughes. Oh, we need to humiliate someone. Wait. Hmm, I think these guys are gonna become invalid pretty soon. Uh, Lana, Mangnai. What about these guys? I gotta choose with them. So... Let's declare a humiliation war on these guys while the CB is still valid. There we go, there we go. 
And let's take this mission. <gasps> Center of trade and Pegu is increased by one. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Bump it up to level two. So when you take the mission, it increases to level three. It doesn't work like that, boys. It won't increase to level three if it's at level two. We can only bump it up from one to two. So let's take it. Boom. There we go. Tier two government reform, huh? We are a mandala system, so we can take Hoopa Raja succession. But who needs prestige, legitimacy, and monthly air claim increase, dude? Everyone knows what the people really want, man. Everyone knows what the people really want. Honestly, dude, for a humiliation word, this was the most difficult one so far. Let's show strength and hope that works in the mission tree. Does it? It doesn't. Of course it does. <laughs> Pain. Alright now, of course a Miladia group would be extremely useful for us down here fighting all of these powerful nations, but no. Like I said, we're going for that achievement, so we need exploration expansion. Let's open up with exploration, boys. I'm already focusing on Diplo. Since that war was so long, at least aggressive expansion has died down a little bit. Now can I humiliate another rival, Arkan or Xipa? Ah. They are a tributary of Ming now. Right, right, I, I forgot that all of these guys are actually tributaries of Ming. Uh... Uh, I'm tired. Of course, we do have to get some boats going to, uh, uh, I was gonna say to explore, but apparently I don't have any money. Can we get indebted to the merchant guilds again? Of course we can. Thank you, merchant guilds. Very cool. Bark, bark. Well, I need another one. All right, so apparently they want me to move my capital to Pegu in these missions. Sure, I'll do it. I mean, it's farmland's center of trade. It produces peppers. Uh, let's do that. And then we'll dev it up to 20 because, well, we need to spawn the renaissance anyway. Oh, even more dev cost. I like that. Thank you. The boats have been constructed. Wonderful. Let's get an explorer. Oh, nice. Let's tell him to explore where... Wait, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Oh, uh, fine, fine. I'll explore there anyway. All right, boys, I think this is my shot right here. I'm at tech six, Ayutthaya's tech five, Orkan's tech five. What I'm trying to do is declare on these guys to annex them and at the same time fight Ayutthaya. They are pretty strong, but I think with our tech six advantage, we can do it. Let's go. <laughs> this is actually very easy. I'm stack whipping these guys left and right, man. Even with that massive plus 15 calf combat ability, Ayutthaya is so strong. They're no match for tech six, baby, no match. All right, man, Ayutthaya is done for. We can finally get that uh, humiliation off, huh? Let's take all their money, war reps. Um, let's uh, pillage their capital. Nice, nice. And let's beat up Arkan as well. Done, there we go. Meanwhile, I did get a colonist. <laughs> I have nowhere to colonize. Oh, wait, I can actually colonize here. Uh, what about here? Oh, I can. I guess I was blockaded and stuff. So where's the farthest we can go? Hmm, I guess... Well, these would all be the same distance, right? So why not go here? All right, I got the third idea. We can actually send that colonist um, here instead or something. I don't know. Maybe up here? Ah, uh, that's still too far away. All right, it's time to beat up Prom and Lan now over here with my trusty sidekick, Lan Shang. There we go. Wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful. Meanwhile, I'm doing some nice exploring uh, in the wrong direction, but... Hey, listen, let's not get bogged down with specifics, all right? We're doing great. We're having lots of successful wars. Nowhere near bankruptcy or disasters or stuff like that. I think this is going to be a success, boys. I really think so. So I was helping out my boy Xenwi here. They're a tributary, by the way. They got declared on by these guys. And they just gave me these two provinces. Now, that would be nice, but come on, dude. I don't want my AE going up that much. Either way, thank you, Xenwi. Very cool. Now, the tier 3 government reform, the Corvée system, is actually pretty good. We did open up with exploration, which means we do have to go with expansion. Wonderful. Everything is coming together, boys. Don't pay attention to this. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna destroy these guys, man, and their stupid level 3 fort. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Alright, how do you boys like them apples, huh? Bye. See ya. Never. Time to deal with all of these separatists. Ah, uh, how am I gonna beat these guys? I didn't notice that my colony here is finished. Uh, what's the farthest place we can go? I'm guessing somewhere in these provinces right here. Hmm. Let's go to let's go to here. All right. The anger of these guys is ramping up. Some of them could join a coalition. Luckily, I also have truces with them. Yeah, I need to chill a bit. At least with these guys. Maybe I can fight Bengal or something. Or or maybe not. Or maybe not. <laughs> Alright, let's finish off Kale here. Uh, yeah. There we go. Who else are we fighting? Luckily, no level 3 force this time. Oh my god, thank you. 
I mean, listen, annexing guys without co-belligerenting them is just old news at this point. I'm not even announcing it anymore. By the way, I'm colonizing Micronesia over here, and I think there's a really good colonization-focused monument in it. If we go into the Great Projects map mode, we can obviously see that we have the Sao... Oh, wait, that's just my colony. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a monument here, and it does something with colonization, I think. So I guess we'll see once we colonize it. I'm also colonizing this one, too. That's as uh, far as we can go. Obviously, this uh, giant wall of invisibility is preventing us from going this way. And there we go. Easy peasy. Let's annex scale. And I actually want to make these guys up here my vassal. Very nice. Unfortunately, I did let Bengal penetrate into the Burma region. They have one over here too. Of course, they start out with that one. I don't know how we're gonna beat these guys, dude. They're allied to Delhi and Malwa. So powerful. So right now we're doing pretty good, man. Exploring, uh, we can almost see South America, I think. Either way, going back over to Southeast Asia, it's time to beat up these blue guys over here. I think I'm gonna co belligerent. What are these guys called? Mong and Nai? There we go. Wonderful. Yeah, continuing our conquest, man. Lots of nations are angry, but I literally don't care. <laughs> I couldn't care less. We live in a society. Islands. Alright, so we colonized Micronesia, and yes, we do get non-Madal. There it is. Ooh, it starts off at level 1. Global settler increase plus 10%. I like that. This is actually a pretty strong monument. Too bad I'm poor and I can't upgrade it. Ha ha ha. Hey, 10% is 10%. I'll take it, baby. And our advances in Southeast Asia are going swell as well. Let's fall annex both of these guys. There we go. Is anyone really angry at us? Well, yes, several nations are in fact, but Ming is not. Why aren't they blowing up? Come on. They're past the first reform, they're at low mandate. Uh, I don't see this blow up coming. I'm waiting for them to blow up so I can fight all of these guys. Come on, Ming, hurry it up, dude. It seems that amidst my mighty conquests in the region of Burma, I have become a great power of the world. Nice. Well, you know what? It's 1502. Colonialism hasn't spawned yet. Nah, see, the requirements are still here. Can we spawn colonialism ourselves? Question mark? Probably not because the provinces I can see in, uh, in the Americas, they're too far away. Yes, sad, but it is what it is. I guess we'll have to do some more exploring. I did just take Diplotech 9, only 19 years ahead of time. <laughs> By the way, it cost me like 900 points, I do this for you boys. I think we should be able to ally Orissa now. Uh, they might help us out against Bengal, I don't know. Who else is their rival? Ayutthaya and Janpur? Can I ally Janpur? No, they're my rival as well. Uh, it's gonna be hard fighting Bengal, man. It is gonna be very hard. Ah, colonialism has spawned, boys. And not in Eva. Not in Eva. In Cantabria, which is, uh, I think the north of Spain. So yeah, Castile got it. But that's fine, because maybe you guys know, maybe you don't. But if you have colonial ideas as well, meaning exploration and expansion, and if you have a province or a colony in North or South America, you get an event that spawns colonialism for you. So we won't have to click these buttons 98 more times. <laughs> I wish I could spawn it though. Boys, we just colonized Midway over here, and we can see the provinces that we need for our wonderful achievement, Land of the Eastern Jade, there it is. So we just need to colonize something over here, I think, and it's too far away. <laughs> Again, it's too far away, that's fine. Can we colonize anything in North America? Mm, probably not. These guys are still exploring, though. What about here? No. What about here? Oh, yes. Avon, Alaska, baby. Let's go. Boys, I can honestly say that I'm stuck over here, man. All of these guys over here, they're Ming tributaries. Pretty much the only nation I can fight is Lan Nao over here. And over on this side, Bengal is super, super powerful. How am I gonna beat up Delhi and Malwa too? They have like 70,000 troops. I am so weak. It looks like the nation of Ava isn't that powerful after all, even though we're not on the great powers list anymore. I was gonna say, even though we're on it, but I guess we're not. Listen, we're locked in. I'm just gonna wipe out Lanna, maybe Sadia too, but after that, what? We either have to fight Ayutthaya, or Bengal, or maybe even Ming. I really don't know what we're gonna do here. Help! Listen, it seems that Ming are, uh, well, they're actually doing really well in this war versus Red. I was about to say they're getting occupied, they might not come and defend Ayutthaya, blah blah blah, but I think they're about to win it, so... Yeah. Let's colonize the society islands because otherwise, well, we wouldn't live in a society now, would we? Let's beat up these uh, Sadia guys up here. We're not doing anything else. Ah, 
transfer trade power of course of course of course of course let's cancel that there we go hopefully that didn't create a truce or did it now no i don't think it did and now of course we can declare wonderful it's even a core of my subject here perfect at least we have someone to fight am i right I mean, that was easy. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> there we go. Done. All right. Now, these guys, it's going to be a little harder with these guys. They're allied to a bunch of strong guys like Daiviet and Khmer. I wonder if me and Lan Shang over here can take them. Hmm. 20, 30 something versus 30. We're about evenly matched. But these guys, they're so weak. Let me think about it. I swear, dude, this achievement, the land of the Eastern Jade, colonizing as a Buddhist country, it's probably one of the most annoying achievements in you for. Like, I don't think I would really colonize with any of these nations over over here malacca and these guys down here sure they're ripe for colonizing for me malay and stuff like that but this is just so annoying you know at least finally we finished up both exploration and expansion and we can take this policy right here boom and now we can actually swap to this losing stab i know but it had to be done boys it had to be done let's check our colonial range right now it's in the economic map modes ah there it is so yeah i still can't colonize anything in mexico man oh i think i need to get this one up here first are we doing along with it by the way four four three all right not that bad you know, a good thing about this campaign is that I'm getting really good rulers, man. Look at this guy. 364, pretty nice. But what about this guy right here? 556? She. Oh, nice. Just annexed our subject as well. Wonderful. Do we have something to state up here? Sure. I'll state Assam. Ah, I'm reminded. Of our past endeavors in Assam a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago. Pain. Pain. I have returned on the Great Powers list. Thank you. Well, it seems that I have somehow declared on, uh, <laughs> Lana. <laughs> this happens too often. I gotta stop. Either way, this is a totally winnable war, so I'm not gonna reload or anything. Who am I fighting? Okay, these guys, these strong guys, and the main guys. Okay, let's, uh, hmm. Where's the capital? I'm gonna knock out Divey at first. Big war time, baby. And now we've colonized Alaska. Ah, uh, can we finally go to Mexico? Please tell me. No. 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 Why can't we go to Mexico? We can go to California though, so let's do that. All right, finally, we actually live in a society. Wonderful. Can we go to Mexico now? Let's see. Economic, colonial, still no. It's still the same. Well, Diviet is out. Wonderful. Let's continue along down to Khmer, my longtime ally, which uh, I'm gonna try and ally again, actually. You know, I haven't done any barraging in a while. Maybe we should assault it. It is a level one fort. Hmm, let's see. Yay. We got it. Hey, now we also got the big head monument. Tolerance of true faith plus religious unity. Ah, we need to be Polynesian to take advantage of it. Can I destroy it somehow? <laughs> Can we get to Mexico now though is the question. Colonial and... <gasps> Wait, no, this is... Ah, uh, it's Central America, so not very useful, but hey, closer to Mexico, huh? Alright, well, war is done. I've beaten up these guys and both of these guys up here. Ming tributaries, by the way, that's right, let's see that. Yes, it is true. Now, I'm so angry with them that I'm actually gonna annex them as well. I can't fully annex these guys down here anyway, because my ally decided to occupy a province. Sad. But it's time to say goodbye to two Ming tributaries. Wonderful. Is anyone mad? Huh, some nations are mad, but not really. Mission? What's this? And the Shan domination. I will end the Shan domination. Thank you. Well, look at this. It seems that Ming has decided to ask me to become their tributary. Now I know what your guys are thinking. Hawk, you gotta decline, be a Chad, blah blah blah. I know boys, I know, but here's the thing, if we're a Ming tributary, that means we can fight other Ming tributaries. <laughs> like Ayutthaya. So of course I will accept, I will gladly give you tribute, my overlord. Praise Ming. Ah, disaster. We haven't had these in a long while, huh boys? I don't think it'll fire though, this guy's gonna get on the throne pretty soon and uh, all of these things are gonna get fixed, so yeah. Okay, so this disaster is apparently still ticking, right? Progress is plus one per month, but oh, it's because of the less religious unity. <laughs> and boys, I think we can finally colonize a province in the region of Mexico. There it is right there, but yeah, there it is right there. So let's just colonize, huh, this right here. Nice, nice. Uh, just as I became a tributary, they start blowing up. Wonderful. It's like I did this all for nothing. No worries. At least we'll declare on Ayutthaya now. Let's declare for Dawai right here. I am literally two Miltex ahead of them. These guys are no match, even with their elephants. It's so easy beating up these guys. So easy. I was scared of them the whole game because of their elephants, but I was wrong the whole time. Wait, no, this isn't how it's supposed to go. What? August 2nd, 1528. What are your... Oh. Oh. Well... Oh, I didn't notice I was full occupied. Let's, uh, let's do a little, uh, 
exploiting the oh i can't they're not controlled by me are they oh my god i think i'm in a little bit of trouble here boys how are we gonna get out of this maybe by hmm debasing currency debases currency lowers root out corruption refuses to elaborate further leaves you know what let's just call it a dub right here you know one province it's uh it's really all i wanted trust me i totally didn't want to fall annex them Sorry, I had to save myself there like seconds before I get this achievement because I'm not about to fail after uh, like 80 years. Meng blew up, they broke the tributary status with me. <laughs> I guess everything works out in the end. You know, how did all these colonies that I started after the one in Mexico finish before the one in Mexico? Like, I still have like 170 people to send here, man. What's up with that? And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten that achievement. There it is, Land of Eastern Jade. Own a core province in Central America as a Buddhist country. Definitely one of the more annoying achievements. Was this Revolutionary France is in Mexico? Very nice. And for my final trick, ladies and gentlemen, I will in fact be no sea being Ming. No, no sea being Ming would be a lot funnier if, uh, if they were actually powerful and not like uh, with 16k troops. But either way, man, let's no CB Ming. Breaking choose, no CB, having a real marriage. In fact, I'm also gonna get male access through them for even higher war exhaustion and uh, even higher stuff like that. There we go, breaking choose. No CB, has male access, having a real marriage. If only I had good relations with them. And boom, boom, there we go. But overall, man, uh, wait, I can't get there. Um, can I ask anyone for... Oh, I do have mill access. I'm just fighting all of these guys. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. But yeah, overall, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that this was a very successful campaign. I mean, we started off as Ava, a tiny little nation. Not that weak, though. Not that weak. Ava is pretty powerful. It does start off with a bunch of tributaries, but we managed to break our tributary status with all of those guys. But why would Korea declare a coalition war? Who... Listen, I don't care about you guys. Let me continue with my rant, okay? But yeah, we start off by breaking our tributary status with those guys, fighting some of the smaller nations right here. We're not that powerful at the start. In fact, I'm also gonna no CB... Oh, no. Right, 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 right. In fact, I'm also gonna no CB Bengal. There we go, we're fighting all of these guys. But yeah, I would honestly consider this campaign a success. No bankruptcies, no disasters. We were on the brink of bankruptcy and on the brink of disaster uh, quite a few times, but we managed to push through that in order to get one of the more annoying achievements in EU4, the land of Eastern Jade, where we needed to own and core a province in Central America as a Buddhist country. And concerning all of that, considering the fact we couldn't fight in India, considering the fact that we couldn't fight a lot of these guys down here because they were Ming tributaries, I feel like we did a pretty good job of maneuvering around those alliances and accomplishing the goals that we wanted to accomplish. So I am announcing that this campaign as AVA in A to Z is a success. And that ladies and gentlemen has been AVA in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more EU4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.